Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and thank you for tuning in. People keep requesting that I do another training video, so here you go. And I got some relatively new research to share in this episode as well as an announcement, so please stay through to the end. The study at the core of this video was published this past February in the European Journal of Applied Physiology. The authors aim to test the efficacy of a new training method on strength, hypertrophy, and fatigue. To do so, they took 31 participants and split them into two training groups. One group of 16 subjects who trained twice per week using this new method that's called the 3-7 method, while the other group of 15 subjects uh, trained twice per week in a more traditional way with eight sets of six reps per exercise. Both groups uh, trained for 12 weeks total. The way to perform the 3-7 method is explained like so. Using 70% of your 1 rep max on a given exercise, which equates to approximately your 12 rep max, you'll perform 3 reps, then you'll rest 15 seconds. Then you'll perform 4 reps and rest another 15 seconds. Then you'll perform 5 reps and rest another 15 seconds. Then you'll perform 6 reps and rest another 15 seconds. Then finally you'll perform 7 reps and rest 150 seconds or 2.5 minutes and repeat that process once more. So in summary, one set of the 3-7 method consists of five micro sets uh, building up from three to seven reps. And each micro set was separated by a very brief rest period of 15 seconds. In other words, this technique enables you to potentially achieve 25 total reps using your 12 rep max. Another way to look at that is you'll be achieving more reps with a heavier weight, which is a ticket to growth. Uh, but how did the 3-7 method fare against a volume and frequency matched traditional training approach, uh, or in this case, eight sets of six reps? Well, after 12 weeks, the group using the 3-7 method gained nearly twice the amount of muscle and strength as the group performing the 8 by 6 and the 3-7 group had experienced a 9.6% increase in biceps thickness by the end of the 12 weeks. Just how significant is a gain of 9.6%? Well, let's do a little math. Considering that your average dude has between 13 and 14 inch arms, 9.6% of 13 inches is about one and a quarter inches, and 9.6% of 14 inches is around one and a third inches. This means that the men using the 3-7 uh, method likely added well over one inch to their upper arms after three months of using this protocol. And that is quite significant. Whereas the eight by six group only likely gained about three quarters of an inch during those same 12 weeks. Now, granted, both groups had taken a six month layoff from training prior to beginning the study. So they were all attacking the weights relatively fresh and likely had lost muscle since they had last trained. Ergo, how much of those gains were due to muscle memory and how much was fresh? Well, I can't say. Nonetheless, the 3-7 method still appears to be superior to a more traditional lifting approach. I mean, the proof is in the results. To quote the researchers, the 3-7 method provides a better stimulus for strength gain and muscle hypertrophy than the 8 by 6 method. And the mechanism behind 3-7 superiority is theorized to be greater metabolic stress in the target muscles. And metabolic stress is one of the three recognized mechanisms of muscular hypertrophy. Now, allow me to demonstrate uh, how you can apply the 3-7 method to an exercise like the Easy Bar Curl. But before I flip to the gym footage, a couple of things to take note. One, I had used a pair of Grip Forced Advanced Flex grips uh, in this footage, um, but that is totally optional. I just prefer to uh, add the extra challenge to all of my direct biceps work. And two, I ended up having to use a 73% uh, of my one rep max instead of 70% uh, because my gym uh, didn't have any two and a half pound plates available. Uh, so I ground out uh, what I could manage with a slightly heavier weight than what was prescribed. Nonetheless, your 12 rep max is what is advised for this method. So I start by repping to three. And then I rest for 15 seconds, keeping the muscles stretched uh, under tension. And then I go for four. And 
and then again I rest 15 seconds. And then I go for five, uh, and I'm starting to hurt at this point quite a bit. And then I rest again 15 seconds. Now, I, as I recall, I did not make my six and seven rep micro sets. I actually stopped at one for both and actually grinded those one out as it is because I'm using about 3% heavier weight than I should have been using, as I had mentioned. But you get the idea, I think. And that was a demonstration of just one set. After doing one set, you'll rest two and a half minutes and you'll repeat that process a second time. Uh, then you're done with that exercise. So there you have it, a cool new training method that uh, you can build an entire workout around or even just hit up a lagging body part with. And on that note, I've just released a new training program called the Right to Bear Arms. It's a four day a week, 12 week long program supported by human research that's designed to blast your arms, even stubborn arms, into newfound growth. In fact, the Right to Bear Arms strategically incorporates the 3-7 method. As well as a variety of other research proven training tactics specifically geared towards blowing your arms up naturally. Including a training approach that nearly doubled participants' tricep size compared to other methods after just eight weeks in a 2018 study authored by Brad Schoenfeld, Brett Contreras, and colleagues. And another training approach that nearly doubled participants' bicep size after just eight weeks compared to another more traditional method in a 2016 study authored by Julius Fink and colleagues. And that's just a taste of what I've included in this program. I've linked to the Right to Bear Arms in the description below and in my pinned comment for those who are interested in grabbing their copy. This program has been over two years in the making, so I am very excited about getting this out there. Folks who have used my other programs, such as this fella, have been waiting on an arm-focused routine for me since 2017. Well, here it finally is. Keep in mind, pretty much every list of top male body parts as ranked by women include the arms, typically the biceps and or forearms. And this preference has also been demonstrated in research. According to women, bigger biceps are one of the visual cues of upper body strength, and women simply find stronger men to be more attractive when mate selecting. In fact, not a single woman out of the 160 in that study preferred weaker men, not a one. And they were all Australian and American university age students, not older women. So it is really no wonder why so many guys chase arm development in gyms across the globe. Albeit most gym bros just throw everything but the kitchen sink at their arms, hoping something, anything uh, will work, uh, which is a very haphazard approach. Whereas the right to bear arms attacks your guns in a strategic, scientifically sound manner. Again, the program is linked in the description below as well as in my pinned comment. And just wait till you feel the arm pumps that my program elicits and the searing burn that you're going to uh, get during the intense Friday sessions each week. Uh, this program also um, gets progressively more torturous in months two and three. Uh, your arms will be begging for mercy, but they'll be shown uh, no such compassion. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below and, uh, and any questions you may have. And don't forget to like and share this video if you found it interesting. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not already and press the bell button for notifications and check back here weekly as all three avenues will help ensure that you do not miss any new content from me. Furthermore, check out the video description for links to my products and services, as well as my affiliate links such as Amazon and my Patreon and Subscribestar pages, as well as other ways that you can show your support to me and my channel if you genuinely enjoy and get use from what I provide here. That also includes an array of my science-based training and nutrition eBooks which can help you get results like those seen on my clients pictured here. There are a lot of ways that you can show your support for what I do. I am almost entirely demonetized and YouTube rarely promotes my work. So I rely on you, my viewers, uh, to keep going and growing. 
Thus, if you'd like to see me continue to actively produce content, your support is very welcome and very much appreciated, especially as I inevitably need to replace or upgrade my equipment and software to aid in creating these videos. Uh, so thank you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.